Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today we're going to be looking at the Bradley Kimura Production Battle Song. Stick with it. So, fun little things about this guy, right here, the Bradley Kimura Battle Song. It has a blade length of 3.88 inches and a cutting edge of 3.5 inches. Blade thickness on this knife is 0 0.12. Blade material is 154cm, same blade material as my uh, Benchmade 1, my Benchmade uh, Tanto, so I do like this blade material. It has a spear point blade and it has a flat grind. Let's do a size comparison on this guy real quick. Let's start off with uh, Shred Viper OTF. Right here. A little difficult to close one handed, but it's cool. Just knocked him a little. Um, Gerber flat iron right here. Pretty close in size, relatively. I would say so, at least. ZTO 0350 and Kershaw Skyline. Alright, so this guy has a bead blasted finish. Um, has G10 scales with a stainless steel liner. Its weight comes in at about six ounces, so 5.98 ounces, making this a heavy sucker, very heavy. Has no pocket clip on it at all. And yeah, um, let's get some pictures of this guy and I'll roll them in, roll in some pictures now. So, things about this guy that I think are worth talking about. It is a great entry butterfly knife if you're looking to get into flipping. I mean, you can't go wrong. It's only only about a hundred bucks for this guy, and he flips like a dream. I'm not doing so hot because there's a tripod in front of me. Um, the lock, this right here, I don't know what this is called, but I just called it the locking bar. Not like a lock bar, but like... It's a locking thing, I guess. Um, it's not spring-loaded, so you can't do that fun thing with you, like people do with bench maids, where once you put it in, you can't just you can't just push down right here and it go. You have to actually apply pressure to the the little thing itself. Um, it is made in the U.S. of A. Um, and the prices on these guys come in at 100 to 120 bucks. There are many flavors of this guy. I mean, you're talking a lot right here. You're talking a lot of fun flavors. You're talking different colors. Um, all the blades are about the same shape, um, but you're talking like colors, carbon, they have carbon fiber version, just a lot of flavors. Um, it feels great to flip. It's very smooth. Um, it's just a classy, like, let's be honest here. It's just a good-looking balisong, okay? Of course, it's a balisong, so... Actually, wait a minute. Yeah, there are no lanyard holes, because once you... Once you put this through, it gets rid of the hole. So, there are no lanyard holes, and that makes sense. It's a balisong. There's not supposed to be lanyard holes in a balisong. At least that I think of. And, yeah, that's pretty much it on this guy um this is a guy that's never going to leave my collection and the reason behind that is a little something right here it's the first production run of this guy and it will never leave my collection um just because i'm not a big battle song guy but i really like this one so it'll never leave my collection 
And because it's such a massive knife, it's very comfortable in hand. I don't see any problem putting this in hand and holding it. Using it for everyday cutting tasks, really. Um, it's a beautiful knife, and it'll perform well in most day-to-day -day tasks that you would give it. So, that makes it desirable to the person, to the normal person. So, it's good, good by me. Uh, that's pretty much it for the Bradley Kimura Ballast song. So, that's it for this one, and I will see you in the next video.